In this video, I'm gonna highlight our day and the blessing of the clinic. The blessing was about a two hour long process. Obviously, I will not be showing that here. This video will be about five minutes. And I've selected clips throughout the day that I thought you might find interesting that just showcases the change of energies and the ebb and flow of the blessing and of the clinic and people coming and going. So this is that day. I pause for a moment because I recognize I'm about to use my left hand. But through the ceremony, I've been instructed to predominantly use my right hand. So while we use both hands, the right hand is the preferred hand to use. And it reminded me of America's past. In the past, if a child was born left-handed, it was believed they were hell spawn or the child of the devil. And the word sinister actually means left. That's its archaic meaning. And so a lot of times the left hand is seen as the dirty hand or the hand not used in a lot of practices around the world. So this is my employer, Dr. Natasha Patel, who was gracious enough to have me come and spend time with her in India and run one of her clinics in Surat, India, which I'm very honored to do. You know, a lot of times I don't like to compete with other noises when I'm giving a lecture or when I'm talking to a friend, if the TV is too loud or if there's some other noise or music in the background. And while this priest came to bless the clinic and he is given attention, life is happening around him and it doesn't bother him and it's okay. You'll hear the construction noises, you'll hear the honking of cars, you'll see us getting up and down and treating patients and life is still taking place while he's doing his thing. And I think what that taught me was it's okay to have all these external noises and not to let them bother me because life still continues. I'm going to get a train time dress. Because we're heading back. I'm going to get a train time dress. 